Okay, so Ramya, let's go ahead with your uh, this uh, the snap mock uh, for uh, the subject of uh, design, right? Uh, strength of material today, sir. You want to go for strength of material? Yes, sir. Okay. So, mm, so let's go ahead with this. So, uh, can you let me know the meaning of a strength? Sir, uh, strength is the uh, the property of the material. Uh, which uh, does not change on applying any kind of a uh, force or stress uh, force basically and uh, generally we use it for the time it is uh, the yield yield point that is the strength for the material sir no what did you mention this is the value of the what sir the maximum stress which can be uh, uh, which can be registered by the material without failure. And, and what is the maximum stress? Sir, uh, for uh, material generally we take yield strength. Uh, so because yielding happens at that point. So that is the point we take. So for all the materials we take yield stress as a criteria of failure? Yes, sir. Okay. So whether it is the tile or brittle? Sir, for brittle yield uh, strength and uh, ultimate tensile strength, both are almost same. So for mm -hmm. brittle, we take UTS. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is the meaning of strain hardening? Strain hardening, sir. Uh, after yielding happens, sir, whenever we increase the uh, stress on particular material, uh, because of the molecular density, uh, which increases, the strength of material also increases. And it increases the ultimate tensile strength. Mm -hmm. So it increases the ultimate tensile strength of the material. Up, up to, uh, like, sir, uh, we start increasing the uh, stress uh, magnitude. Then the time uh, we are applying it after the yielding point. So molecular density of that particular material that uh, increases and the uh, resistance to the force of the stress of the material also increases. That is the strain hardening of uh, a process basically. No, you mentioned the strength increases. Which strength increases? Sir, strength, uh, uh, it is a yield strength only, sir. Because sir, after unloading, when again we load uh, that particular material, that uh, the, the point where we left it, uh, that point itself, it starts yielding. So mm -hmm. yield strength, that increases. Sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. there's a term called as poison ratio, right? Yes, sir. What is that? What is the purpose of uh, defining the uh, poison ratio? Sir, for uh, calculating the change in dimension, in case we apply, we are applying load on uh, x axis, uh, x dimension. Then what is happening to the y dimension, of, uh, y uh, plane? Uh, how it is like changing? Like uh, if we take the Poisson's ratio value as 0.25, that means when we are uh, applying any load on x axis then 0.25%, like 25% of the dimension only changes in y direction. Mm. Okay. So, can you let me know the value of the Poisson ratio for the mild steel? Sir, uh, it is uh, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.25 approximately. Exactly, I'm not aware, sir. So, what is the meaning of a poison ratio, let's say 0 0.5? 0 0.5, sir, uh, this is generally for a rubber kind of a material, sir, where uh, when we apply any load on uh, x, uh, x axis, then 50% of the changes occurs on y axis. That is the meaning of it. And what is the meaning of thermal stress? Sir, thermal stresses, uh, whenever there is a temperature change in one particular material and some resistance is given to the uh, material, then uh, because of the intermolecular uh, uh, movement, I'll not say movement, uh, the distance uh, between the intermolecular 
distance uh, there is a generation of uh, stresses those stresses are called uh, thermal stresses mm -hmm. can you repeat one more time what did you say sir basically uh, whenever uh, there is an increase in temperature the vibration inside the metal increases and because of that in, uh, increase in vibration of the molecules and uh, one resisting force where we are fixing the material these two things uh, are the reason for uh, thermal stresses so let's say if uh, we don't restrict the material sir will there be some thermal stresses sir there is a factor uh, like if you are uh, changing the temperature of that particular body uh, like there is a uh, differential changes a uh, differential uh, temperatures at two point then also there will be a stress generation otherwise if you are not fixing it and uniform uh, temperature change is there then there will not be any uh, stress generated okay so there is a term called as uh, or this uh, point of counter flexor sir what is it sir uh, the point where the uh, bending moment uh becomes zero and changes its sign these two conditions are uh, met then that is the point uh, called as a point of counter flexure so can you tell me the point of counter flexure over here yes sir it is the center point sir are you sure yes sir as per you this is a bending moment is zero over here yes sir and changing its sign also sir from positive to negative so when do you have the sudden change in the bending moment diagram uh, sudden change sir uh, sir if we take simply supported beam and uh, not simply supported uh, continuous beam sir and uh, that beam is loaded at the center and again the fixed uh, the free end is loaded with some other load so there will be curve downward and again uh, there will be two curves in that particular beam so because of these two curves where these two curves are meeting that particular point will be the point of counter friction okay so let's say uh, this is a uh, kind of cast iron let's say this is a brittle material cast iron sir well, let's say if i take this is a glass rod right this is a glass sir. so let's say this is glass rod sir and i am twisting it right sir you talk sir it is going to fail and in which particular plane it is going to fail sir it will fail at uh, angle of 45 because uh, in that case sir uh, y axis will take as a reference axis and generally uh, uh, these brittle materials are weak in tension so tension axis will be x axis which is 90 degree from uh, y axis so 45 degree will be the angle for that particular material to fail Why forty five? You are saying it will fail at forty five. Sir, because reference angle, we reference axis we are taking uh, y because we are applying only shear stress in this particular case. And uh, brittle materials are weak in uh, tensile. Here in this case, tensile stress and uh, uh, shear stress both are same because the origin of uh, Mohr circle is at origin. the uh, the center of uh, more circle is at origin so both are same can can you draw the more circle for this yes sir okay draw now show me on the more circle in which plane you are talking about on mohar circle tell me the plane where it is going to fail 
Sir, there is a diagonal uh, I have drawn, sir. Sir, one second, sir. One second, sir. If you can read it, sir. No, where, 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 where is that plane? Just show me the plane. The horizontal line, sir. Left, right. Sir, left side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, let me just give you the feedback now. Okay. Sir. It seems that okay, your basic understanding is uh, good enough. That means. Uh, but I think strain hardening better you explain it from the perspective of dislocation rather than just giving the molecular density and all that. Right, sir. So it is a strain hardening because of the dislocations and it is a increase in the dislocation density, not the molecular density. Okay, sir. As the material deforms, dislocation density increases and they pile up. Sir. So it means initially also you are having the dislocations, but as you deform it, dislocations increases and at the same time they pile up causing the hindrance for the, for the further movement and therefore yield strength increases. Right, sir. That way you should have the, uh, uh, you should have framed it. Rest poison ratio, you explained it well. Thermal stress is also, you explained it well. Uh, strength also. And, uh, but point of contraflexor, see, even though verbally you spoke something, but when you started explaining, I, I gave you an example, but then you got uh, confused over there. So, just a moment. It should be something that this way. Just see the diagram over here. These two diagrams, one one that I had shown you. I don't know which one I have drawn. Okay. Sir. These two diagrams, right? Sir, I've seen it, sir. So the first one that you had uh, replied me that this is the point of contraflexor. But this is not the point of contraflexor. See the point of contraflexor on the other diagram where I have shown you. Sir, sir. The difference is, in case of uh, the first example that I have shown you over here, uh, this one, th the bending moment is not zero over here. Okay, sir. Bending moment is not zero over here. Uh, uh, whereas uh, here you have, uh, it is changing from positive to negative, but while changing from positive to negative, uh, this value is becoming zero over here. Sir. So this one is, you know, I asked you a question that uh, when there is, uh, when you are going to have a sudden change in the bending movement diagram, when you have okay. a couple acting over there, movement acting over here. Okay, sir. It means the value of the bending moment is not zero over here. You are having to the left some value, to the right some value, but you are showing on the same plane. So bending moment is not zero over here. Okay, to the sir. left, you are having one value, to the right, you are having one value. Right, sir. So this is not the point of contraflexor, right? That means that the bottom one is not the, uh, that is the incorrect one, sir. That is, ah, yes, Th that answer was not correct. Okay, okay, sir. Because bending one is not zero over there. Okay, because sir. to the left and right, you are having certain movements. Right, the sir. The difference is only that they are opposite in nature. Sir. In the above diagram, there was a change in, change value is changing, reducing, let's say from, if you are moving from one side, becoming zero and then increasing on the other side. Right. That is and so I think uh, that much clarity was required. And uh, okay, torsion case also you were able to explain it. Initially you made some mistake, but then you corrected it. So Set. reference axis is going to be the vertical axis, the top, and then from there 90 degree tensile stress. So that means at 90 degree on the more circle, actually the situation is, but, but uh, actually it is 45 degree. So a 45 degree plane is basically getting subjected to tens tension and compression of equal magnitude. Yes, sir. So since this is weak in tension, sir, obviously it is going to fail in tension. So you can just... Uh, this angle side that. was correct or negative side was correct or it should be on positive side? See, on that plane, you're going to have positive and negative, both the values acting. Okay, but sir. obviously it is going to fail on the by the positive side because of tension. Right. Okay. So it seems, okay, I think you have prepared it well. Uh, so smaller mistakes that you committed, but otherwise it seems okay. Right. Okay, just prepare on these lines. If you are, there are some kind of uh, uh, some uh, uh, points need to be plugged in, so you just uh, go through it and go through the mocks and all that. And I think further mock you can appear. So I think it's okay. Right. Thank you, sir.
Okay, Ramlin. Okay, bye-bye.